Megan, talk to us about pot politics here. Well, you know, Republicans are saying their sole motivation for this referendum is to stoke voter turnout. But there's always a, a question. It's hard to stipulate or speculate on motivation. So are these party operatives pushing this referendum because they believe in it? Or are they pushing it because the same people who believe in pot are going to come out and support the party? Um, one thing that there's no question about, Steph, is that there is a tie between Democrats and support for legal marijuana use. You take a look at the latest CNN poll, Democrats, independents, the vast majority of them support legal use. Republicans, not so much. And if you drill down into the demographics, you drill down by age, the vast majority of 18 to 34 year olds, 67 percent actually also support legal marijuana use. And you know that is a key voting block, a key group for Democrats to get out, and one that Florida hasn't had as much success with. But this isn't the first time we've seen this. Let, let's assume Republicans are right here. This isn't the first time we've seen a party sort of manipulate an issue, get it on the agenda to help their cause. Oh, absolutely not. And Democrats would say that Republicans did the same thing when you take a look at the George W. Bush campaign in 2004. Karl Rove says he didn't orchestrate all of the same-sex marriage initiatives that we saw around the country. Eleven states had that on the ballot. Um, but it certainly helped bring out evangelicals and bring out Republicans.